Right, so I uh, thought I'd do a little review on the Shimano CI14 Plus version 2019 reel. Hmm. I've used it a couple of times now. Yeah, one I couldn't chuck out and then uh, obviously yeah, one where I could chuck out a little bit further but not obviously not long distance so obviously these are more designed for that purpose. So, yes, they do work, obviously, on shorter ver versions as well, obviously, like any other reel work. So, there's a reel itself. Very smart. So, you can see the CR4 Plus. Now, there's one thing what I like about it. you got a super slow uh, oscillation system, 5. Now, I'm probably guessing that the 5 means the bearings what are in there. I'm not 100% sure, but it's an Ultegra CI4 Plus XTC. These are, I'm basically just reading obviously what's off the reel, aren't I? Now, on most reels, what I'm used to, I'm used to holding this nut here and then obviously unwinding the handle. That's what I'm used to. But you don't need to do that on these. Now, so what you do, you hold your body. Obviously, basically your bail on. Well, not your bail on, that's obviously your bail on, but you hold your body. What obviously holds that on. And then to fold your handle, you just literally back wind. And then it's got to fold up. And then to obviously tighten it up, you just wind it forward as you like reeling in. And that's it, that's tight. If I turn that down to the bottom, you can obviously go both ways. So that's the bottom. Just box standard winding. You can see how slow it goes up and how slow it comes down for the amount of what I'm winding. If you compare it to another reel, obviously that spool's going up and down like crazy. So what that's doing, it's obviously putting tighter wraps round here. And when you're casting, yes, it's going to go further. Now the line what's on here is a bit squiff. Now there's a reason why it's a little bit squiff. Because uh, someone, what was actually fishing a couple of pegs away from me, it is on one of my other videos, he decided to uh, get up a little bit late. Resulting in this cart going over my line, and it's like you buggered that up, ain't you, mate? So it's obviously killed all that line, so that needs to come off on that one. But I've just literally been doing some videos, so that's the 18 going on. So you can see what it should be like, nice and smooth. And if you compare it to that, that's all like, mm, nah, don't like it. That looks like a lump, but it's not, it's just a light what's on there. So they do go on very, very smooth. Now, they are clutch reels, basically meaning there's no bait runner on the back. So, all you do, I put the ice washers in these. I've done another video for that. And then that obviously makes the drag nice and easy. And if I quarter turn it back, it's pretty solid. So, it's literally like quarter turn for drag, quarter turn back, and then it's pretty solid. So, you're like locked up. Which, you hardly turn them at all whatsoever. Nice big bail arm and I mean big so it's it's well away from the actual uh, spool itself and I mean well away so yes the line's obviously flying off you have only got the one line clip I actually thought they'd come with two but no it only comes with one like I say this is the 14,000 version there is also the smaller version as well if you're wanting obviously for a smaller rod but obviously these are going on three and a quarter pound rods Three and a half, anything over three pound really. Obviously, I'd say whack these on. Weight wise, I mean they're not bad actually, they're quite light. And a couple of the other lads what I've ways have I said, there you go, have a little cast with that, see what you think. Obviously, the rod and reel, the combination. I'm like, hmm, yeah, I like that. The actual uh, handle itself, it's got a quite good spin in it and it doesn't have a bearing in it. I have actually ordered a bearing upgrade. I don't know why, because Obviously, I do not need it. The thing is with Shimano, it's long-lasting. And I mean long-lasting. So these are going to last donkey's years. Unless I abuse them, which I do have a tendency of abusing things. I like to put them through the paces and that lot. But they're all fully sealed. So for you to get all the gubbins and crap and that lot in there, it's going to be very hard work. So, taking the spool off, it's just obviously off the drag off the front. There we are. And that's basically your internals. So, 
So you've actually got obviously all the uh, anti-line guard, obviously just in case you do go over the back of the spool. I've had it happen to me, but that's obviously because I was putting the uh, line on quickly and obviously I buggered it up, didn't I? So the line, what I've just done on the uh, video, that's obviously the better way of doing it. But I was rushing it on, so I just wanted to get these on the bank. But my overall thoughts, they're lovely. And because of the colours, like a graphite grey, satin black as well. They go lovely with my rods, but that's obviously my rods. Obviously, your rods might be different. Price-wise, itself normally between two hundred and two fifty each. Yeah, you can get them on deals as well. So I actually got mine from a company in uh, Newark called Future Fishing. I wanted the older versions of them because they was priced to put one eighty clearance. It says, oh, we can't get them no more. I went, well, what have you got? And tried downgrading me. It's like, mm, don't do downgrades. He said, well, we've got the new versions. It's like, right, how much are they? 250 each. <sighs> Boy, pushing the boat out a bit there, mate. What yeah, else you wanted? Obviously, told them all that. And he said, right, okay. Would you be interested if I did them for 200 quid a reel? Mm, yeah, definitely. So I got these for 200 each. So they're not cheap. But like I say, they are. Standing on my shoes there. I want dropping one. And um, they're long lasting. And they do do the business. Long range, short range, medium range. Whatever you want to use them for. And you can see by the... I mean that says it all, doesn't it? That says it all. You bring that up near the top. Where is it? It's not doing it now. That says it all. That's how silky smooth they are. It really is. Obviously right down to the bottom. Gravity downwards. Not going to do it now. It's trying. It's trying. Go on. Give it a little shake. There we are. I like that. So my, my review. Yeah, definite. And like I say, you get a spare spool with it. And they are the metal ones, the aluminium ones. Not plastic. So they're not going to be exploding on you on those very hot days. Yeah. But get the ice washers, make them even better. Thanks for tuning in.